Good morning, everybody. It is gonna be an absolute scorcher today. It's supposed to be um, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we're taking the barrels off the tractor that held our starter fertilizer. And I think we're gonna be able to unhook the planter today. Using the forklift and lifting up that bracket mount that the tanks rested on and then we'll unscrew it and then also take off that do you remember earlier this fall or earlier this fall the heat is getting to me earlier this spring um, so last year this held one thing and this held another thing but we plumbed the tanks together just like Grant did. So this is our contraption so that next year we can have starter fertilizer in both of them. It's not quite time to seriously irrigate. The corn isn't big enough to be using a lot of water. Um, however, it is time to start on our weed control. So we have the Miller sprayer in the shop. Um, unfortunately, it is not operational at the moment. There was a melted fuel line um and honestly a lot of other things that i don't even know what were wrong with it but it is uh getting some tender loving care right now hopefully that'll be back up and operational soon we're putting these things away now but it'll be just the blink of an eye before we're getting them back out of the corner of the shop and putting them back on Another thing we can start doing is start taking some of these screens out of the tractor cab. Um, this is just for planting monitoring. This is also just for planter monitoring. It's an iPad. Um, so both these monitors can come out and we'll be able to see out this side of the cab again. I'm kind of excited. Um, in addition to chemical weed control with the sprayer, um, we're also going to be starting to do another kind of weed control. We're going to be hilling or cultivating, um, which is like the, uh, iron and tractor way of removing weeds and so i'll show you what that looks like but we're going to be using this tractor so we need to get all this stuff the planter and the monitors out of here so we can hook those up because as dad likes to say the corn is too small to be hilled too small to be hilled too small to be hilled and then all of a sudden it's way too big and with the heat we have right now um it's supposed to be in the hundreds all for the next 10 days apparently you can hear the corn growing it's going to shoot up so fast Oh, we can also take this out. So we only hooked up this one because remember we were only running the starter fertilizer um, and it looks like dad already took that hose out of the cab, um, but we can take this out too. So we have this little tray right here, um, which becomes a collecting point, but we just keep the wrenches that we need to take these things off in the cab because none of us can ever remember. And it just seems simpler to do it like that. Tanks are off, tractor looks practically naked. Papa Kurt was taking my pickup out for a spin. He says he might want to trade with me, so we'll see. I think he really likes it. Tanks, brackets, stairs that go on the outside. Everything is tucked safely away in the back of the old shop. Now dad is going to drive the planter over to the shop where we are going to unhook it. First, Ethan and I are going to have to uh, make a spot for it. Because our sprayer is out of commission, we got a demo unit out. It's a 5240, so a series newer than ours. You wanna see what the inside of the cab looks like? It has the good stairs, so it's not a ladder. They're flat steps you can look at, or you can walk up. And don't mind my shoe, duct tape is holding the super glue together. The sole fell off. Okay. Inside of the cab is what I really care about. Oh, nice. Wow, this little storage area. It smells new in here. We'll see how dad likes running this. I have run the sprayer before, but it's dad's dog. He loves running the sprayer. 
you guys all know the job that I like to do with the sprayer. And that's when we took take the actual like sprayer booms off of it and put the destroying blades on for when we chop out the male seed corn rows. That's what I like to do. It's probably, it's probably my favorite job on the whole farm actually, if I think about it. You're seeing that, right? A hundred and two. As you may, or actually you may not know this, um, uh, we have cows and we keep our cows in the feedlot at the farm over the winter so that we can feed them and then we calve over the winter time. So we're there if they need anything, need any assistance. But then during the summertime, it's so nice outside and there's grass growing so we turn them out to pasture and then that is where they graze all summer long however we had a super super dry winter so i mean i think in total we maybe got like three inches of snow just super dry and we've had a few rains this summer already or spring i guess um but the pastures are just not as lush as they usually are so i think we're going to have to be moving cattle soon from one pasture to another, whereas usually the one pasture would be enough to feed them all summer long. So that's kind of a, a unique weather issue we've been facing this year. So we have had some hail that destroyed some of my crops, but we also are just suffering from the dry winter we had. Should we use these horses to move the cows? They're kind of pretty, don't you think? I used to really want to be like a true cowgirl ride horses. Might have to use those when we move the cows. Planter unhook in process. I better help out. Planter is unhooked. The wind has massively picked up and the pickup says it's 103 degrees outside, but we have the hiller hooked up and uh, we're going to fill the tractor up and probably grease everything on this thing before we can head out to the field. And that will be a video for the next time. We'll give an in-depth video of me home. So for now, signing off, we'll see you later. Bye.